well about drop my camera but anyway what I was saying is the Chevrolet Volt advertised as an electric vehicle is not an electric vehicle you gotta put gas in it people that's not electric okay hello if you're pulling up to the pump to make it go that's not an electric vehicle now that we got that cleared up alright so I want to make an EV Jeep reason why is what I've had the camera on here for the last few minutes right there that is perfect for a battery pack I may even be able to sink it below the floor a little bit and get me some more room and maybe keep the back seat when I build it um, it depends but the battery pack will fit in here in, in, in between the wheel wells and it will go let me sorry, get this whole thing in the frame here it'll only come to about here right here from the back so and it's only going to be about um, about as tall as as the uh, wheel wells there by the time you got your connectors and everything else um, that's it's probably going to be almost flush if I put it right on top of the bed there I may sink that once you take the gas tank out of this you can go quite you can go quite a ways deeper especially here in the back but when you get up towards the uh, towards the uh, rear end uh, it's a little bit different um, you, you don't have near the clearance underneath the vehicle so um, they may just set on top which would be easier uh, by far and as far as that goes uh, if we do delete the rear seat um, you can actually uh, you know we could bring them clear out to here and we could get at least another row maybe two of batteries if we wanted to go that far but we can get 50 batteries in here to make the pack which will give us 30 kilowatt hours if we use uh, 180 amp hour um, calp cells or something very similar in size and amp hour so and that'll give us 30 kilowatts of power this vehicle will weigh about 3300 pounds I think if my math is correct with the batteries or or after the build is complete uh, these weigh in at about 3050 factory with the six cylinder in it um, so 3050 pounds uh, minus the motor um, you know near 500 pounds of batteries um, 450 uh, I don't know I'd have to sit down and figure it up it's it's not more than 500 but I think it's a little more than 450 um, so by the time take this engine out and put in uh, a warp gain or a net gain warp 11 uh, you're looking at more weight there um, so I think it's going to come out I don't know I, I I tried to make my estimate a little high on the weight uh, so I'd be surprised uh, I was saying 33 to 34 you know maybe I'm gonna get lucky and uh, maybe that engine's gonna weigh 400 pounds I don't know uh, we'll see uh, if it does you know we'll stay around 32 um, but anyway that's a little bit about electric vehicles EVs I will video the build of an EV when I build it start to finish I'll show everybody out there how to do it we won't give up one ounce of horsepower in fact we will nearly double the horsepower of the vehicle torque rates will be more we're dealing with about the same weight within a couple hundred pounds the only thing I'll give up is range and range is not an issue with me shoot if it goes I'm hoping it'll do 60, 65 miles uh, with the weight. Um, similar setup um, on a um, 2,600 pound car that uh, Mr. Rickard has in Missouri. Um, you know, they're looking at 100 miles uh, with a similar setup. So I'm giving up weight. Um, I'm giving up range uh, for weight. I'm trading it. I'm going to be about. Um, 
six or seven hundred pounds heavier so I think I'm going to give up um, say he had 90 miles I think I'm going to give up maybe 25 or 30 miles that's no big deal to me uh, my driving uh, I don't go anywhere people this is where I live I live in here every day day in and day out I don't go anywhere I'm almost antisocial so once in a while we'll go out to eat that's the extent of my getting out or if I have to go to a store but normally I'll send somebody to the store for me because normally I don't have a vehicle so anyway that's the uh, a little talk about EV uh, go check out EVTV.me uh, gas prices are on the rise uh, um, you know so the EV talk will come back it always does nobody's going to do anything about it the OEMs you're not going to have a viable electric vehicle for I'd say you'd be lucky to have it in 10 years uh, be lucky to have it by 2020 probably more like 2025 well I'm not going to keep giving my money to the damn oil companies giving it to the man all they're doing is sucking every dollar you got in your pocket out they know how much they can take they know, not, they know how much they can take out of the economy and they're going to take as much as they can so this person isn't going to take it and I'm going to do something about it and it'll be a Jeep Wrangler <clears throat> hopefully a little bit later model uh, than a YJ um, I'd like to get me maybe a 97, 8 or a 9 I could probably buy it pretty cheap and um, build it from the ground up it'll be completely custom of course because it'll be without any internal combustion engine gas tank fuel lines nothing it'll all be ripped out of the vehicle and we'll build it from the ground up so anyway if you have any interest at all in EVT or uh, in EVs check out EVTV.me or YouTube Marion Rickard and uh, that's the same thing check it out see how it's done it's a lot simpler than you might think and I'm the kind of person who's pretty good with his hands I can do a little bit of everything and if I set my mind to do it I can do it so I'm gonna build one that way I don't have to pay for gas alright people we get the rest of this stuff tore down get another shot in here and we'll turn the camera on when we get a little bit closer take it easy <laughs>